Before we go on, as a side note, in this diagram and in the corresponding section of the book, Transmission Line Equations, section 2-3, a lower case V and I is used for the voltage and current. We, however, are going to use a capital V and I in order to match the remainder of the chapter. The full transmission line model is comprised of cascading equivalent circuits along the length of the transmission line, which you can see on the bottom of the screen. Now, if we want to apply this equivalent circuit for a transmission line to the actual wires in the airplane, we would need to know what to use for L prime, C prime, R prime, and G prime. There are three ways you can get this information. One, if you know what kind of wire you're using and who made it, you may be able to get this information from the manufacturer's website uh, and spec sheet. So here I'll put manufacturer. Another option might be to take measurements. Measure the values yourself. You'll be actually doing this in the lab if you're enrolled in the lab portion of this class. And three, the third option is that you can use analytical formulas to calculate L prime, C prime, R prime, and G prime. This slide shows some of the analytical formulas you can use to solve for the most common transmission line parameters. A few things to note in these equations. First, the permittivity is epsilon equal to epsilon naught times epsilon r. We're going to be talking more about permittivity later in this semester. Epsilon naught is 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12 farads per meter. And these equations, all the ones I'll be mentioning, some of these, epsilon and mu, are on your summary of equations sheet for transmission lines. The permittivity uh, uh, free space is epsilon naught. And epsilon r is the relative permittivity of the material. Epsilon r is equal to 1 if you have free space between the two conductors. We'll be discussing permittivity more in the second part of this course. Also note the permeability is mu. Mu is equal to mu naught mu r. That's also on your equation sheet. Mu naught is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 henrys per meter. If the, and the mu naught is a permit permeability of free space, and mu r is the relative permeability. We're mostly going to have mu r is equal to 1, because this is it's equal to 1 for free space and also for all non-magnetic materials, which is a lot of the materials that we're dealing with. Additionally, in this table, if the conductors are considered perfect or engineering good enough and high enough, the conductivity is high enough, we're going to say the conductivity is in infinite, and we'll treat it as a perfect electric conductor, PEC. In that case, R prime is equal to zero, and none of the power in the along the transmission line is lost due to heating in the conductors. The RS is that is seen here. It, you see in the equation for R prime, the RS is the surface resistance of the conductors and it's a function of sigma. We'll see this equation more in the, in the antennas section of this course. And right here in the bottom, number three, they give you an equation that you can use. You'll see where that equation comes later. Also in this table, and for any, e any other TEM transmission lines, if the dielectric between the conductors is perfect, or sigma for the dielectric between the two conductors is low enough, then we'll take G prime is equal to zero and there's no leakage current between the two conductors. So if R prime and G prime are both equal to zero, the transmission line is considered lossless. Now for a moment take out your in-class project notebooks and write down the three ways you can use to obtain the transmission line parameters for the transmission line that you're interested in. One, that you can get the information from the manufacturer. Two, you can measure the values or three, you can use the analytical formulas like the ones shown here. If you know the geometry and the dimensions of the transmission lines and the materials that you're dealing with.